Good day everyone! Today we will be discussing the basic terms in trigonometry. Let's have our first term. We have the line. We know that two points determine a line. Let's say we have the point AB and we have a line. So to name a line, we use the symbol with two arrowhead and this is Name the point, we have point A and B. So this is line AB, line AB. The second one is the line segment. So we have two points. Notice that in our line segment, we have end points. So here we have A and B. So we can name this as segment AB or simply segment AB. So that's the difference between the line and the line segment. Another one is the ray. We have two points here. Let's say again A and B. So we have a symbol for that. With end point. Ray. Then right. The two points A, B. Or simply ray A B. Now let us proceed in angles. Now let us proceed to another term which is the angle. An angle is formed by a rotating ray around its end points. Let's say we have the, this illustration. So we can name this as angle A. B, C, or simply angle B. We can name it using three points or simply in capital letter, which is the vertex. So we have here the vertex. This is what we call the initial side. And this one is the terminal side. So that's the angle and its parts. We have the initial side, terminal side, and the vertex, and how to name the angle. Next, we will discuss the positive angles and the negative angles. Now let's have the positive angles and the negative angles. In our Cartesian plane, this is our x-axis and y-axis. So let's say we have this line as our initial side. And if we have this line as the terminal side, And if we are going to get the angle from the initial side going to terminal side, that will give us a positive value, a positive angle. So if we have a counter, counterclockwise, this will give us a positive angle. So let's say we have here from the initial side, going to our terminal side, this angle is a positive angle. Likewise, if this is our initial side, then we have the clockwise going to our terminal side, that will give us a negative angle. Okay. So we have here if this is our initial side going to our terminal side so this is an example of negative angle so if we're going to locate in our Cartesian plane let's say we're going to locate positive 30 so we know that this is 0 and 90 30 so we have 30 then 60 so positive 30 is here. Okay. And if we're going to locate negative 30, of course, clockwise, get 30. This is the negative 30. 
So that is the positive angle and the negative angle. Now we have the quadrantal angles and coterminal angles. Quadrantal angles are angles in a standard position with terminal sides that lie along the x or y axis. So examples of quadrantal, quadrantal angles are, so if we have our partition plane, in our definition, terminal sides that lie along the x and y axis. This is our x axis and our y axis. We know that zero lies in our x axis. 90 lies in our y axis. Next, 180 lies in our x axis. 270 lies in our y axis. Next will be 360, 450, 540, 630, 720. So those are the examples of quadrantal angles. We have 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, next is 450, 540, and so on. So just the multiples of 90. Next. Coterminal angles, two different angles with the same initial and terminal side. So let's say we have the angle 30, 30 degrees. So if we're going to locate 30 degrees in our rectangular coordinate system, so 30 degrees is here, so 30 degrees. So this is the 30 degrees. In our definition, coterminal angles are angles with the same initial and terminal side. So if this is our initial side, and this is the terminal side, how are we going to get the coterminal angles of 30? So the shortcut is just add 360. So if we have one revolution, that is 360 plus 30. So 360 plus 30, we have 390. If you want to get another coterminal angle of 30, so 360 plus 360, that is 720 plus 30, we have 750. So that's the coterminal angles. And if you want to get the negative coterminal of 30 degrees, so just subtract negative or just subtract 360. So we have 30 minus 360 that is, that is equal to negative 330 degrees. So if we're going to plot, negative 330 is here. Negative 300. 30 degrees. So that's the quadrantal angles and coterminal angles. Now, we're going to answer some exercises regarding these basic terms in trigonometry. Now let us try to solve some problems. Number one, find the smallest positive angle coterminal with 420. So take note in our Question, we need to find the smallest positive angle. First step, you need to locate 420. So 420 So we have one revolution that is 360 Next 360, one revolution. We need to add how many degree angles? So 
420 minus 360, we have 60. So we need to add more 60. So where is 60? That's 45, so 60. 60. Okay, let's assume that this angle is 60, so we need to draw our arrow here. So this is 420 degrees. Now we need to find the smallest positive angle. So to find the smallest positive angle, we need to less 360 to 420. So we have 60 degrees as the smallest positive angle coterminal with 420. So in some cases, you need to discover some shortcut in solving such problems. Number two, find the largest negative quadrantal angle coterminal with 90. So coterminal with 90, we know that 90 is located here, 90 degrees. Largest negative quadrantal angle. So coterminal, so we need to find the angle. So that is clockwise, so we have negative 270 degrees. Why negative 270? Because this will be our initial side. We are looking for the negative, so we need to get the clockwise direction, then going to 90, positive 90. Since we are talking with the negative, so negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, that would be the coterminal of positive 90 degrees. Now our last problem. What is the smallest positive angle coterminal with 1115 degrees? So we're looking for the smallest positive angle. Smallest that means less than 1,115. So our shortcut to find the coterminal angle, it's either we're going to add 360 or we're going to subtract 360. But since we're looking for the smallest, of course, we're, we need to subtract. So 1,115 one, minus 360. That will give us... 1115 minus 360 so that is carry one zero oh so one 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 five minus three sixty so five minus zero that is five we have eleven zero so eleven minus six that is five Next, 10 minus 3, 7. So that is 755. We need to find the smallest positive angle. So again, that is not the smallest positive angle. Let us subtract 360 again. So 5, 6, so 15 minus 6, that is 9, then 3. Again, minus 360, so we get 35. So, minus 360, we have 395. Minus 360, we have 35 degrees. So the smallest positive angle coterminal with 1115 is 35 degrees. So those are the basic terms in trigonometry. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.